Hey collectors, here is a look at Ajax and Icarus from Eternals by Marvel Legends from Hasbro and I would like to thank Toys R Us and Toy Kingdom here in the Philippines for their markdown prices for both of these figures. Here are the figures out of their boxes. Ajax comes with an extra head sculpt and an extra set of hands. And we are lucky here to have this figure because overseas it is an exclusive. And here is Icarus. He also comes with an extra head sculpt and an extra pair of hands. Both of these figures are marked down in our local stores. And here is the figure out of the box. Ajax also has the design in her suit but there are no paint highlights especially when it comes to the backside. And Hasbro just reused the other female body parts because this is not how thin Salma Hayek is. Like other figures from the Marvel Legends line, Ajax is super poseable. And those parts of her outfit that are made of soft plastic serves as a support when you put her in different stands. But be careful with bending her joints because sometimes it's sticky because of the paint. It might be prone to breakage if you force them. And here is a look at her backside. The only details that you can see are the folds for her cape made of soft plastic. The other parts, especially on her suit, isn't highlighted by any paint application. Her scale is comparable to the Mafex and SH Figure Arts action figures. And for size comparison, here she is with the Justice League Superman from Mafex and the SH Figure Arts The Dark Knight Batman. And now we go to Icarus. He stands above 6 inches tall and also super poseable. However, my complaint with this figure is that he has big hands and big feet, which is really weird. And if you look at him from a distance, he looks like an anime character. Same goes with this figure, like Ajax, he is super poseable and those soft plastic which is supposedly cloth for his outfit sometimes hinder positioning the legs in front. But overall you can do a lot of pose for this figure. But be careful with those highlight of golds. If your hands are a little bit on the sweaty side, it might in time either tarnish the paint application or completely erase those gold highlights. And like the other figures in this line, when you look at his backside, he is like an unfinished figure because there are markings on the suit but there are no gold highlights. Buying this figure at its SRP isn't worth it because of its lackluster accessories plus the unfinished design for their suit. And for size comparison, here he is with the Justice League Superman from Mafex and the SH Figure Arts The Dark Knight. And like Ajax, he too fits well with the other SH Figure Arts and Mafex figures. And here are the two figures, Ajax and Icarus compared to Tigra from Thundercats by Super 7 and Buzz Lightyear by Bandai Model Kit. With Robocop from NECA and Vash the Stampede from Trigon by Jazzwares. With Garu from One Punch Man and Dennis from Yu Yu Hokushu or Ghost Fighter, both figures from Dasin model. 
And to wrap things up, here are the other figures I have for the Eternals line. Cersei, Fastos, Makari, Gilgamesh, Kingo, Druig, Sprite. And with that, thank you all for watching. See you all again next video.